The athletes who faced off in February for the Paracycling Track World Championships are at the top of their game. Craig Griffin, training director for the U.S. paracycling team, says most of these competitors have moved beyond their disabilities. They cope every day with everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, and they do very well at it. So they've learned to adapt to, you know, opening a bag of potato chips, to, you know, hopping into a car, um, dealing with, with ill-fitting prosthetics. Many paracycling athletes have lost limbs. Others, without eyesight, ride tandem with able-bodied riders. American Jennifer Schubel suffered a training injury at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. She lost some of the feeling in her feet and says that cycling has let her return to competitive sports. I was a three-sport athlete at West Point. Um, I played soccer and I ran indoor and outdoor track. And so fit, being physically fit was part of my, has always been part of my life. And with cycling, I'm able to clip my feet into the pedals. More than 200 athletes from 33 countries competed in Los Angeles, and American Sam Cavanaugh says they have their eyes set on London. Well, you've got your perennial favorites. I mean, when it comes to the track, Great Britain's a pretty hard program to top. Uh, the Aussies always are come flying. They're super strong. And then you've got, uh, you've got some select athletes from other countries that have, you know, obviously upped the game. Getting ready takes training and focus, says Sarah Story, a British Paralympic medalist in both swimming and cycling. I think we're just going to continue the qualification period as strongly as we can and then go straight back into training and start building up on the road again um, and just trying to make sure that we're fitter and stronger and stay healthy all the way through the hopefully decent British summer um, and then welcome the whole world to, to London. This summer in London, the world will be watching. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.